All right, can you get your one out? No. I don't know if it has one more plugs in it. It should do. Where's, where's my little hat? I think it's in the pocket somewhere. Ooh, Ooh watch out for that. Where is it? That's it. Daddy, <laughs> where's my other one though? I don't have one. I think you only had the one. No, I had the one on this one, remember? Uh, I don't remember. One. We're at the golf club this morning, guys. Josh said he really wanted to come and hit some golf balls, which he hasn't said for about two years. Um, so to my surprise, Josh said that, um, watch your back. He wanted to play some golf. So we've come to my work. Um, if you didn't know, I work at a golf club. And there's a driving range in the middle of the golf course. We're gonna go over there, get a couple of balls, wax some balls, uh, for maybe like half hour, 45 minutes, um, or until we get bored. Um, because and then Daddy, see how good Josh is. Because we get three golf balls, because Daddy can just go around the back and let them. Yeah. This fits me perfectly now. Remember it used to rub my shoulders. <laughs> yeah. But you've grown a bit now, you're a bit taller, a bit stronger. So you're gonna be able to it's just fine, hit some balls a bit further. All right. I'm literally relaxed. Let's go. I don't know how busy it's gonna be on the driving range, or how many people are gonna be there, or how many people are gonna be out on the course. Hopefully there's no one there, um, so we can just like hit a load of balls and film some videos um, without feeling a little bit awkward, because I do work here, and I don't really want to start whipping the camera out in front of all the members and everything because that might not end well <laughs> so, so hopefully guys, there's no one there this is the good glove because it comes with all of those marker things yeah it's got a ball marker on it so this guys is where i work it's my full-time job 18 holes on well. the golf course and he runs all the balls bunkers. yeah absolutely love my job love being a greenkeeper i love playing golf and working outside and being a greenkeeper you get the best of both worlds so Good place to work. Done, because when you're done, you get to play. Yeah, free golf every day once I finish. And I work six till half two, so finish work at half past two. Normally, play nine normally holes of golf. Yeah, daddy, daddy probably plays for like three hours before he comes and picks me up on Fridays. Yeah. Because he likes picks me up at five. Yeah, we finish work at half past 12 on Friday, so I'd like to try and get 18 yeah, you, holes in. Yeah, you need, you, want, you normally do a whole 18, don't you? I'd like to if I can, and then go and pick Joss up on Friday. You have like five hours when it's twelve. Yeah, and you've got a football clubs. So you don't even finish school till half four. Yeah. So plenty of time. Look, there's loads of balls out there already. Is there close. anyone here? Is there anyone here? A hundred yards. I'm so good. Yes, there's no one here. <laughs> Nobody here. Where do you want to go? All right, guys, we've got some balls. Joss wants to have one swing. See how good his swing is. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Do you want me to give you some I, tips? I booed one a hundred. All right. Um, put your legs far, wider apart. Rest the club on the floor. Um, move back a little bit. Move your right leg out. All right. When you hold the club, you want your left thumb, go to the top of your backswing, all right? So you want your left thumb to be positioned so that the weight of the club is on your thumb. Sure. So if I've got it like this at the top, if, let go, you want your thumb there okay. so you can push it down like that, yeah? Okay. Just try it, stare at the ball, try not to move your head. That was all right. There's so many elements to the golf swing, I don't even know where to begin. I've basically been hitting golf balls near enough every single day during the week for the whole of this year um, and I still haven't figured it out so it's like an endless battle uh, to try and figure out the proper golf swing but that is a part of why I love the game it's so difficult that was all right went off to the right a bit but yeah the difficulty of the game makes it enjoyable for me that wasn't bad that wasn't bad he's got up now Oh, that was absolutely mutton. Oh. oh, that was a bullet. Oh, send it. Uh, beast nose. Uh, ah! You see out the window? Watch your nose. Watch your nose. Whoop. 
So we just had lunch. We are now at Pets at Home. Need to get Diggy his toothpaste gel stuff. We also need to get him some more kibble because we've nearly run out of kibble. And Becky wanted to get him a second bed to keep in the van um, because apparently it's really annoying to keep taking the bed in and out of the van. So need to get those three things and maybe a toy. So let's go in, explore, and see what we can. Joss, look what I just found. Look what I just found. Look at this, guys. Ta da! <laughs> we need this. Huh? Yeah, we definitely don't need that. That's massive. That's like for a huge dog. I think this is the gel stuff. And you just kind of like rub it on their teeth, and it's supposed to um, keep the teeth clean or something. I don't know. £4.50 though. Get one of those. Josh is going to pick Diggy a new toy. You got him a hot dog? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh, you picked it? Yeah. Sausage for a sausage? <laughs> you like it? Is it yours? No. No, I don't... He, he just, it can't really hold it. No, he wants like a, a longer thing, I reckon. Because he has know. those, um, uh, what they're called, Beanie Babies. No, 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 he quite likes those. I reckon he needs something longer. Yeah. Look, should we get him a little... Oh, little, little oh should we get him a little flat cap? <laughs> All right, guys, we're back in the car. We've got a new bed. Um, it's literally exactly the same as the one he's already got, except for this one's grey, because they didn't have the same colour. Uh, we got him a big sack of food, which is down there, and the uh, toothpaste gel stuff. Yeah, which I've already showed you, so that can go in there like that. We didn't get him a toy in the end, because we kind of figured that he has a couple of toys, so he doesn't really need one, to be honest. And there wasn't really anything there that kind of like, really like stood out and at the end of the day all he really likes is like slippers anyway so it's a bit like when you have a baby up cardboard. yeah it's like when you have a baby and you buy him a present and they're more interested in like the wrapping paper than the actual present itself it's kind of like that so <laughs> it, babies are didn't really like see the point children. no babies babies it's like well they care about the wrapping paper don't they but we're going to go back anyway take diggy out for a walk um it just absolutely tipped it down so i'm hoping that the the rain cloud passed, but I guess we'll find out. The Diggy's sitting on my lap. Don't you, Diggy? He likes sticking his head out the window. Ch -ch 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 -ch. We do have a car seat for him, but because we've got um, this big chair in here, there's nowhere to put it, so he has to stay on my lap. It's okay. Dun -a, dun -a. All the horses are coming. The horse is coming. I bet the two um, dark ones stay there and just the light brown one will come over. That tends to happen. Oh, he's been distracted now. I never used to be um, much of a fan of horses. I found them really intimidating and I don't know, I didn't really like them. And I think living here and being close to the horses, I've kind of changed my mind a bit and I do I quite like them, but they're still really big and intimidating. So I'm kind of like, Really big on the fence about it, I suppose. Broken style. I don't think I'm going to go over that. I think I'm going to go over the gate. Looks a bit, bit dodgy to me. I'm going over this way. I feel like this is safer. Oh, that's solid as a rock. A metal gate. Was that surprising? Yeah. Go on then. That was easy. Now these two fields, they've got sheep in them. And last time me and Becky walked through here, they all turned around and stared at us, like the whole lot. It was really creepy. Go <laughs> on, diggers. Look at their butts. I know. Oh, that one's on the move. They're all on the move. They all seem to be kind of ignoring us so far. And they're doing the conga. Like walking away from they're us. They're doing the conga. All right, we've survived the uh, the zombie sheep apocalypse. They haven't really shown much interest in us, really. Just kind of like ran away from us. Are sheep like afraid of humans? I don't know. I'm intrigued though. I'd like to know. So for dinner this evening, we are having courgette and halloumi burgers. We had this the other week and it was so tasty. We had it the following week and then we decided to have it again this week. But basically it's grated courgette, grated halloumi and a couple of eggs. I put some breadcrumbs in there as well. 
and that is like the burger mix and you just basically put patties in the pan obviously put oil in the pan and then it creates like really tasty burgers and then we're having it with some grilled halloumi um, we're gonna cut up some tomatoes and we've got some alioli which is like um, garlic mayo kind of stuff it's really tasty and then we've got a couple of burger buns and Becky's got some gluten-free ones here as well these are actually like really good gluten-free rolls they're like super tasty definitely recommend those but if we blob a little bit of oil in there get a bit of heat going and get these burgers a cooking look at these bad boys they're a little bit fragile but for a vegetarian alternative to a burger they're pretty bang on got the halloumi on the go as well just going to grill that nicely until it's golden and then that will be lovely jubbly oh looking forward to this here we go guys we're making becky's one first i don't know why i always do becky's first because i'm nice like that a bit of grilled halloumi oh it's hot All right, so we've got alioli at the bottom, and then we've got the burger, a bit of grilled halloumi. Isn't it just because you don't want to get cooked? And then, no, I just always do yours first. I just think it's considerate. A few tomatoes. You're such an angel. And you don't want any ketchup in it or anything? Mm, ketchup is a little bit. No. We did have relish in it last time, but... Um, salsa. Salsa, sorry, yeah. Yeah, we had salsa in it last time, and it was quite nice, but... They didn't have any in the shop today, so there we go. A couple of lovely burgers, and I'm going to do mine. Chucked a crumble in the oven because I want to have another crumble today, which means we have one more in the freezer, which I guess maybe we could have next week. I haven't eaten the any. The week after that. No, Becky hasn't had any. I keep offering you crumbles and you keep saying no. But next week, guys, it's my birthday, Saturday. I'm going to be 30, so I guess it's kind of like a big birthday. I don't really know what we've got planned. I know we're going to my mum's on the Sunday um, to meet my sister and Joss's cousins. Um, I'm not sure what we're doing on Saturday. I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's happening. Um, but we might as well wrap it up today. I'm going to make this quick because my burger's getting cold. I hope you enjoyed our video today. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you come back next week for my 30th birthday. I'm sure it's gonna go down in history and be amazing. Um, so until then, safe drive, stay alive, and we'll see you guys next week. All right, bye-bye.